Hi, I'm Rochelle, the mother of the mother-daughter team of Godiva's Secret Wigs. And oh, it is cold out. And I want to talk with you about wintertime and wigs because I have some great secrets on this video that are going to help you keep the life of your wig last longer and look more beautiful. Okay, so here we go. So first of all, let's start with gloves. I can't touch my hair with these gloves. And so I love, if I'm going to be somewhere, I want to make sure that my wig's looking good, I opt for a glove that my fingers will go through, making sure that my fingers aren't dirty from touching my makeup, but clean so I could brush it and just use my fingers. Simple, but really great tip, okay? So let's continue on. Fabrics for wintertime, they are nubby. There are wools and faux furs and real furs, and they all kind of have the fiber of the wigs grab onto it. So picture when you're moving, just like when you're driving a car. You're driving and you're constantly turning or you're with people on the nubby fabrics, scarves, wools, furs, this is where the underneath of your wig, especially your long wigs, will start to grab and they will get drier over time. So if you're going to wear these, and let's say you're driving, then I would suggest just take the wig, twist it, and put it up in a clip while you're driving. That way it's not rubbing on all of these fabrics, these nubby, grabby fabrics. Put a clip up there, and now I can turn my head, and it's not doing anything to my wig. It's fantastic, okay? Another thing you could do is you could braid, so just the little, little underneath ends here, when you're talking, partying, dancing, uh, whatever you're doing in the, in the cold weather, skiing, Whatever you're doing, there will be less of a grab for all of the fiber. So that's a great idea too. I'm going to show you the slippier, slip, slipperier fabrics. <laughs> I can't even talk. My teeth are chattering, so sorry. <laughs> but I'm going to show you the, the fabrics I recommend. But not to worry if you have beautiful coats that you love, wear them. But think about how you might help your wig from getting dried out. And I'm going to put a freedom on after. By the way, this is a Candace in chestnut. Isn't it beautiful? I love this chestnut color. I'm gonna put a freedom on because even the short little ends of any wig are still going to grab on the nubby fabrics. The next thing I wanna talk about are just one little hat. Let's say you want to wear a winter hat. So ladies, please check it before you put it on because <laughs> that just doesn't look right. So typically, if you're putting an average size hat on an average size head with a wig, it's not gonna work too well. So I won't use a hat that's not stretchy instead I'm going to use a stretchy hat. So let me just show you. And of course, I have bobby pins in my wig, but this works out great. Keep my ears warm, or I'm sure you'll find other ways too. But remember, if you take your hat off in front of people, make sure your wig is secured, or here's what I do. I gently turn around while I'm holding the wig and no one really sees. So it's kind of like this. Make sure I'm good, and oh, hi. I took my wig off, I mean my hat off. So let's continue from here. Even a nubby scarf, forget the jacket for a minute. Even nubby scarves like this, even a neck scarf. Remember that as you're moving, as you're talking, as you're looking over here and you're talking over there, it's rubbing and we 
prefer that it doesn't. So maybe you take this off while you are wearing your heavier items and while you're, we while you're wearing your wig. <laughs> oh my God, it's cold out here. So anyway, here's another fur and I kind of want you to look at, does it move? Does it grab onto the furs? And it definitely does. You know, after wearing wigs for 40 years, I just want to show you the difference. So this is grabbing on. I love how it looks, so I wear it anyway. But when I take my wig off, I always brush underneath and get those knots out. Because if you keep wearing the wig and you don't take the knots, it's going to get naughtier and naughtier. And that is no fun. So now I'm going to put a more slippery vest on and show you the difference. So polyesters, silks, slick fabrics just move. You'll feel the difference immediately. It just moves so much better. And you have so much less of a chance of drawing out any parts of the wig that are grabbing onto nubbier fabric. So this is really great. So I love this. And then let me show you when I put my big jacket on, my slippery slick jacket, it really works great. Ooh. So again, this shiny fabric, you'll feel it. You know the difference between nubby and slick. And so this is slick and I don't worry at all. But apply this thinking also when you're driving your car. I'm going to do another video about driving in cars while wearing wigs. But a hint now, if the uh, fabric on your car seats are a little nubby, a little grabby, a, a fabric, a cotton, a canvas, then your wig is going to want to grab onto that fabric. If you're driving with a leather seat, that's slippery, okay? So there's a little tip for you too. Now, I want to show you how a shorter wig is also going to rub a little bit, but not on the slick. So, oh, it's still cold here. So here's my hair. I slicked it down low. You prepare your hair any way you like. Not everybody agrees with me, but I love my little bun down low. What can I say? It's what I like. So I'm putting on Freedom in Nutmeg F, my go-to wig. And I want you to see with any higher collar, even though it's short, it's still going to rub and grab. Now this is the slicker, more slippery surface, but let me put the vest <laughs> back on. <laughs> My fur vest. So you're going to have a good idea. And just, you know, be thinking about this when you're going somewhere. So here is my fur, my collar's up, picture you've got a scarf or whatever, and it's grabbing. So sometimes people will write in and they'll say, how come the ends of my wigs are so much drier than the rest? So it's easy, ladies, to start doing some detective work to see if you have an issue when your wig was originally perfect and now there's some area that's not great. I can tell you right now that if it's the tips and if you've been wearing it with any nubby fabrics a lot, not just a little bit, but a lot every day or whatever, that it is going to grab where the wig is against the fur or the thicker, nubbier fabric. So one way to handle that, especially if you're driving in your car, I have just a slick, silky scarf. And I'll just put that 
right around here, no matter now whether I wear a short, a medium, or a long wig like Candace, it's going to be perfect and it will just slide and it'll really protect your wig a lot longer. So I hope these tips help you. Have a fabulous, chilly winter. Stay cozy. And thank you so much for watching all of Danielle's and my videos. We really appreciate it. And please share us. We are here to help. And we have over 300 wig videos. My goodness, with tips, tricks, tutorials, and so many of our most beautiful styles and colors in wash and wear wigs that you have ever seen. You'll love them. Thanks for watching. Bye.